Hi, my name is Julio Rivera. I'm an activist, journalist, adventurer, veteran, television presenter, and businessman. I've covered many of the major historical events going on around the world over the past several years, and after watching regime changes, conflict, and historic elections globally, I've come to the conclusion that the most underreported crisis in the world today can be defined in only one word, Maui. That's why I've decided to dedicate my time to educating people everywhere and exposing the dangers that exist on the devices that we've become tethered to and depend on for so many reasons in our day-to-day -day life. Welcome to This Week in Maui. On this week in malware, we'll be covering the Stop DJ Vu ransomware family continues to grow with another EFDC variant. File sharing service linkvertise.com may expose users to malicious content and DNS server isn't responding error prevents users from accessing websites. EFDC ransomware is another infection that is part of the Stop DJ Vu ransomware family. Like its predecessors, it was discovered locking files and demanding a ransom fee to restore file access. If you tend to install applications from misleading and or potentially unreliable third-party sites, you may end up exposing yourself to threats like EFDC ransomware. EFDC ransomware can corrupt and encrypt multiple file types including photos, music, documents, and videos. EFDC ransomware, upon installation, appends the .efdc file extension to encrypted files and leaves a ransom note named readme.txt on the user's desktop and in every folder containing encrypted files. Unfortunately, the EFDC ransomware victims do not have access to a free decryption tool at the moment. The only reliable way to recover affected files is to restore them from a backup or use alternative data recovery options. Although the hackers behind EFDC ransomware promise to provide a decryptor in exchange for payment, the possibility exists that you may pay and never receive the decryption tool with the key. In terms of distribution, EFDC ransomware spread similarly to many other ransomware variants, generally via malicious spam emails or unreliable third-party websites. Once access to the victim's system is achieved, the ransomware utilizes the AES cipher algorithm to encrypt important files and then demands a ransom in exchange for the decryption key. The cost of the decryption is $980, but the hackers will offer a 50% discount if contact is established within the first 72 hours after infection. To protect yourself from the EFDC ransomware attack, you should have a reputable malware remediation tool installed on your computer. That way, you can constantly scan for all elements associated with this troublesome ransomware infection. Linkvertise.com is a file sharing service that may leverage unreliable advertising networks to deliver a flurry of questionable ads to visitors. The purpose of those ads is to generate revenue for the site's operators. Linkvertise.com can also open dubious websites in the user's browser or redirect visitors to other third-party sites. From this, it is possible to see that threats associated with Linkvertise.com may display behavioral traits similar to adware and browser hijackers. Another potential danger associated with the use of linkvertise.com is that hackers are known to rely on similar file sharing websites to host and distribute cybersecurity threats to unsuspecting users. If linkvertise.com visitors do not pay for a premium account, they risk exposing themselves to potentially harmful software. In order to download a file, Free users must install the Chump Browser add-on, which is considered a potentially unwanted program or PUP. Additionally, users are asked to subscribe to the site's push notifications and engage with the site's sponsored advertisements. To prevent the possible installation of PUPs, 
adware and other unreliable programs, it is strongly recommended to ignore whatever the website says. When users visit the page, they may encounter ads delivered as part of the site's notifications. These ads should be regarded as potentially suspicious. They may lead the user to scam pages, phishing schemes, fake giveaways, and more. Additionally, users may be redirected to domains spreading numerous other pups. If you have visited linkvertise.com and your system displays odd behavioral traits that include default browser setting modifications, redirects, annoying ads, or slow system speed, it is advised that you scan for and remove any downloads that may be associated with linkvertise.com using a reputable malware remediation software. The domain name system, or DNS, is the naming system for devices connected to the internet or a private network. It works by associating the information with the domain names assigned to each of the participating entities. Most notably, DNS is instrumental in the translation of vital IP addresses. It is possible to locate and identify computer services and devices with the fundamental network protocols with the IP addresses. More simply put, the domain name system provides a globally distributed directory service and has been an essential component key to the internet since 1985. Computer users may sometimes encounter an error message that states that the DNS server isn't responding. This message indicates a serious issue as the error will prevent the user from opening any website. The causes for the actual error are varied and can indicate anything from issues on the DNS server side to hardware problems with the user's router or software issues within the user's browser. Should you encounter this error message, you should first try switching to a different browser to see if that will allow you access to websites. If that doesn't work, you should see if you have missed any recent browser updates and immediately download and install them. For those viewers that may be a bit more tech savvy, they may want to try to change the default DNS server to a different one possibly the public DNS service provided by Google. Additionally, in order to test if the problem is caused on the hardware end, users should first restart their router, and if that doesn't help, switch to another router device altogether. Other options to fix this problem include opening your computer using safe mode, temporarily disabling firewall and antivirus software, disabling secondary connections, Disabling peer-to-peer -peer features in Windows. Updating network adapter drivers. And flushing the DNS cache and resetting your IP address. If these methods fail, it is advised that you scan your computer for malware using a reputable malware remediation program. You know, as I think about the dangers that exist online, not unlike the subjects we learned about in this video, I know I feel a lot better having an anti-malware program like Spy Hunter installed in my PC, providing me the protection I need against malware, and I think you should too. Spy Hunter 5's strongest features are found in its malware repair capabilities. Spy Hunter 5's remediation algorithms dive deep into your system to remove and address complex malware issues affecting PCs today. While many anti-malware products only flag and quarantine malware, and ultimately fail to fully remediate the root problem, the Spy Hunter 5 remediation algorithm detects, quarantines, and programmatically repairs malware problems on your PC. Spy Hunter 5 is a powerful PC utility that repairs malware threats in many cases where other competing anti-malware and antivirus programs may fail. To detect and remove malware for free, go to enigmasoftware.com and download Spy Hunter today. Thanks for watching.